Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to It's a Terrence kind of thing. Guys, today we're going to call this a Lazy Wednesday. <laughs> I didn't have to go into work this morning, but I am on call. And if I, if I get called in later on, I get called in later on. No biggie, right? Um, I wanted to, I've been, I've been, I've, I've, I've been trying to just relax and, um, support, you know, some awesome content creators and all that good stuff here on YouTube and you guys are absolutely amazing. Shout out to my channel members too, Teeth Awesome Butterflies. Thank y'all so much. So as I'm just like, you know, chilling here, I've come across, I came across some really inspirational videos and uh, a couple awesome interviews. And it just got me, um, you know, I, you know me, I just ponder alone, you know, and I just start to think. Um, how do I, how do I start this? So it's not like I'm apologizing for, you know, cursing or being negative at times because you know what? That's just human nature. Um, nobody's perfect. We're going to make um, mistakes. And um, even though we should learn from our mistakes, but we're going to make mistakes. But as I, as I've watched certain things here on YouTube today, this morning, and in the early afternoon, I, I'm starting to realize like, guys, we don't, we don't owe these people who don't believe in us anything. We really don't. And I know it's content and I know that it does help, you know, far as revenue and maybe views and even some subscribers and people like a little bit of drama and stuff. And like I said, I will, I will speak on things when I, when I damn well please. But honestly, we don't owe them anything. And you know, for the, and the bigger picture is they want that. They want you to discuss them. They want you, to, they want to be the, they want to be the main attraction, the main event, because they need that credibility. They need that, that they need that attention. It's sad. It's very sad. And I'm like, wow, I'm giving people too much attention. And I've, and I've looked at, like I said, I've looked at some other content and I'm like, wow, yeah, they're giving people, they're giving those people too much attention as well. Y'all, we ain't going to do that. Let's focus on getting this content out here. Let's focus on inspirational videos. Um, let's get, let's continue to get to the paper. Um, meanwhile, if you ask me, I, I, I look at it like this. Um, like I said, this is not me trying to be disrespectful, but meanwhile, people are, when they, when they're merging into other people's lanes, they're not focusing in, they're not focusing on their, um, their main, you know, the main point, which is their channel, your content, um, your views, your subscribers, what you're doing. If you put that energy into your own channel, I'm almost guaranteed that you're going to succeed. Stop worrying about the next person. Um, I'm going to tell you a little thing. Like I said, I've just been, I've been, I've been thinking today, you know, <laughs> and, and it's just what it is. You know, um, I, I guess when I can just like, you know, chill a little bit and not have, you know, too much surgery on my mind, I just kind of, I think about things and that's just what it is. So as I, as I was growing up, my mom, Oh, my mom would, she'd often tell us, you know, you know, let be grateful for what you have and don't be as concerned for things that you don't. Um, and she, she, she was also someone who would tell us to speak things into existence. Now at the time I didn't know, you know, I'm seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't really understand like manifestation and all that. And I'm just like, I don't know, laws of attraction, manifestation, I think at that time my mind was on Power Rangers, you know. <laughs> I had to do I had to get some Power Rangers and robots and just being a kid, right? So we weren't thinking about those things, but now um as I ponder, right, and I go back to that childhood, I'm like, oh my gosh, my mom was preparing me for for like for today, for my future. Um, and I, and even if I, I do this video and I'm like, I don't want to start crying cause y'all like, <laughs> I look so, I look exactly like my mom. And now that I'm clean shaven, I'm like, Oh Lord Jesus, I look just like that woman. I love, I love the fact that she, I don't know that she blessed me, you know, with just with her, you know, and, and, and I often look in the mirror and I just, I see her and I hear her tell me 
Why are you so bothered by that? Stop doing it. Remember when I told you? Because there was a... <sighs> There were some neighbors of ours, right? We we grew up in a home, and I thank God we had a roof over our head, but their house was bigger. They had multiple cars, swing set, all type of things. Oh, a trampoline. And I was like, Mom, you know, I want that, and I wish we had this, and I wish I was them, and blah, blah, blah. And and she just, I'm telling you, if, 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 if there was anything that could, like, get my mom upset, it would be that. She's like, boy, if you don't shut the hell up, stop that. You don't know what those people are going through. You don't, you don't you don't know, you really don't know the struggle of their lives. You don't know, and you don't know what, what is to come. Be grateful for what you have. Be thankful for what you have. And I just like, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like I just kind of like I just overlooked that. And I didn't I just did not really think my mom knew what she I was a kid. I didn't think that she really knew what she was talking about. And I'm just like, oh, whatever, you know. I don't have all the, you know, it wasn't like the shoes and clothes, but it was just like the the, the toys and more, more materialistic things. I wasn't like pouting every day about it, but I would, like I said, periodically I'd bring it up. Um, um, even Joseph and Keisha, we, you know, we, we would talk about it. We'd bring it up sometimes. And my mom would sit us down and say, you know what? You don't know what people are going through. You might think from the outside looking in, you might think, okay, because they got this car and they got this and they got that, that, okay, everything is just great. I don't know. Those kids may be getting abused. Y'all are getting abused. You know, um, you don't, maybe, maybe they don't have the love of a, of a father and a, and a mother. And I cannot tell you, I, I, I would not tell you a lie. She was absolutely right. She was absolutely right. Um, I, I, not not like even like months and a year later but years on the line i found out that my my neighbor okay one of my neighbors and people that we just kind of like looked up to like wow like they got this they got that <coughs> the father was abusive to the mom the mom was really not really not around for the child you know um, and, and, and that led to that child, um, her child, that, that the lady, the, the young girl who's, I mean, she ended up, let me just tell you this. She ended up getting pregnant at age of 15 and I'm not knocking anybody. Okay. All I'm saying is she got pregnant at age 15 and she just didn't have that mother figure, even though she had, they had so much, um, from the outside looking in, they had so much more. And that, that's what my mom was talking about. Like, you don't know what people are going through. You know, they can be hurting mentally. Some I could come on here with a sack of cash and I could just be one of the most depressed people in America. You never know. Just stay in your lane, focus on your life, and stop worrying about others, okay? And also when those people do want to merge into your lane, you don't have to you don't you don't have to go low with them, okay? You ain't gotta go high either. You could just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna be neutral. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna invest my time in your nonsense. Because as you, as you guys can see, like I said, blocking people, they just they they create they create another channel. They create another channel, and then they just they continue to troll you and continue to be jealous and upset. Meanwhile, you're giving them all this energy, right? For what? It doesn't make any sense. Um, like I said, at times things do need to be addressed, but not every single time. But just going back to my mom and, and you know and, and growing up, I mean she was absolutely right. Like I, I wouldn't have wanted that life for nothing. Um I really I wouldn't I wouldn't have. You know, I thank God that my mom was in my life. I thank God that my dad, you know, is in my life and I I just wouldn't trade that, you know, especially not for those materialistic things. Things that really any of us can have is if we just put our mind to, but that's not the most important factor. It's not. Um, some may say that it's not even important, you know, because it's literally just that it's materialistic. Some of these people that, you know, that are grown now, and that's probably the situation that people are dealing with on YouTube. Um, and even other social medias, they're in their twenties and thirties and forties. And they, they probably even have children. Um, and not necessarily, they don't have to have children, but they, they're immature for their age. They're, they're, they're easily offended. They're sensitive. They're bothered. They're angry. They're just so miserable. 
And that's probably more than likely. Like, they probably were given, you know, spoiled, given so much, given this. Not everybody, I'm just saying. I think people that I've, some people that I've came in contact with, um, I mean, not actually just meeting, I'm just saying here on YouTube, over, you know, cyberspace. <laughs> um, that That is the situation. Um, and I don't know, like, it's just, it just makes me think. And I just, um, like I said, it just having a little downtime for me is always a positive thing. I always go into a deep thought about things in life and I'm so grateful. I don't want to change anything. And if I can go back in the past, nothing, I wouldn't change nothing. My mom was absolutely right about everything. Um, even though sometimes I don't see eye to eye with my dad, he raised me beautifully. Um, this is y'all this is who i am okay i'm i i thank god ultimately you know what i'm saying but this is who i am they raised me they raised me to be like this and i'm going to i'm going to share that i'm going to share that lord willing if um if i ever have kids and um or whatever the case is and 10 years from now and with my life i'm going to i'm going to continue to talk about these things and i will tell people don't worry about those unnecessary things and I'll, and also stop wishing that you were like this person or you had this because you don't know what that person is going through. And when those people, um, those people being those trolls and those obsessive, um, you know, compulsive, weird individuals come in your life, you know, don't don't give them energy. Don't give them energy. Don't give them your energy. Do not do that, because honestly, I think for like if I just base it off of my life i think it takes time away from you it it, it 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 corrupts your it corrupts your mental your mental health your physical health the financial you know your i mean come on let's make money and let's not make let's not let's not go through a great deal of stress because we already stress anyway with life why we want why do we why do we want to add more stress you know what i'm saying Ain't nobody got time for that so if you guys can relate, if you agree, or if you get, if you dealt with things, or if you were the one like me growing up and wanted what this person wanted or this, you know, what this kid had or whatever, and then you found out that they didn't have the life that you think they had. And, and, and also you found out that you were, you were given so many blessings, even though I might not have had this video game or this or this or that, but I were given so much more than they ever ever had and then that's why they're some of these people are upset and angry and have these childhood traumas you know now in life um just be careful be careful what you what you ask for what you hope for what you pray for what you wish for because i'm telling you guys you got to make sure um because you, you will you will get it but you'll get it with all the consequences okay um and situations you never know i appreciate you guys for watching this is what happens on a lazy Wednesday. <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. I go into this um, mode and I just have so many more things that I'm thinking about and would love to share with you all. And I'll just break it up in videos, I suppose. You know, hey, I am a content creator. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for taking the time out, um, for commenting, sharing me out. I appreciate it. Um, God bless each and every last one of y'all. Um, yeah, <laughs> until next time. Bye. <laughs>